Hi guys, many people make this mistake on the SAT's math section when factoring. So it says the expression one third x square minus three can be rewritten as one third of x minus p times x plus p. What's p? So take a hot second, try to solve it, put your answer in the comments. And when you unpause, I'm going to show you the common mistake that a lot of people make and also how to do it correctly. From my step one, I'm going to try to factor out one third. So the first step is to factor out one third. As you can see here, one third is only multiplied to x squared and not multiplied to three. So we're going to think of three in a creative way. Here's what I mean. So we're going to say one third x squared minus one third times nine and one third times nine is same thing as negative three right here. So now we can easily pull out one third and what is left inside the parentheses is x squared minus nine. And now we're going to next step, which is applying quadratic identity. So the step two is to apply quadratic identities. In this case, you're going to use your difference of squares because you can think of this nine in a creative way. You can think it as three squared. So it's one third. So we can easily represent the expression as one third. Inside the parentheses, you have x squared minus three squared. And this could be rewritten as one third, applying your quadratic identity. That's x minus three times x plus three. When we match this to this expression, we can easily see that p is equal to three. That's your answer choice D. A lot of people forget to pull out one third Therefore, they start applying the quadratic identities right away. This is an expression of what not to do. They do one third of x minus root three times x plus root three. And therefore, they erroneously choose answer choice A because they think P is equal to root three. Well, actually, the right answer is D, not A. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.